This is Bingen, a small town at the southern end of the spectacular Rhine Gorge. But I'm not here to admire the scenery. I'm on the trail of a local legend, of how the Mouse Tower got its name. We have to go back in time nearly a thousand years to when Bingen was ruled by the Archbishop of Mainz. This particular Archbishop was called Hatto and he was a, a cruel and hard-hearted man. The harvest that year had been very bad, there wasn't much food. Hatto had hoarded all the grain he had but refused to share it with anyone. And so the townsfolk went hungry but Hatto didn't care. They gathered at his house and pleaded with him. Please, your grace, we're starving. Hatto feared an uprising and so he relented. Then come with me and I'll make sure you get what you need. He led them to a barn and invited them to go inside. Men, women and children. Then he told his soldiers to close, bar and guard the doors and then set the barn on fire. And as the dying screams of the townsfolk rang out, Hatto turned to his courtiers and said, Oh, do you, do you hear the sound of mice squeaking? That evening, Hatto was celebrating his victory with a feast when suddenly he heard a sound. The sound of thousands of tiny creatures all scurrying about and then the shouts of guards and all of a sudden his palace was overrun by mice. Thousands upon thousands of them getting through every gap and into every room and they were all after Hatto. The terrified Archbishop ran for his life. He ran out of his palace into the night and through the town. A whole army of mice following him, more than he could count. And yet, no matter how far or how fast he ran, the mice kept pace. Finally, he arrived at the river, but the mice were still after him. So he got in a boat and rowed across to the island where the tower was. But the mice, to his horror, swam after him. And so he went inside the tower and slammed the door shut. But the mice chewed their way through it with nowhere else to go. He went up the stairs to the top of the tower the mice were after him and there they had him trapped. They jumped on him and ate him alive until all that was left was a pile of crumbs. And that is the story of how the Mouse Tower of Bingen got its name, or at least one version of the story. Of course historians would dispute it completely. The tower we see here now is actually only a couple of hundred years old, although it must be said that there has been a tower of some kind here since Roman times. Be that as it may, the story of Hatto and the mice persists. And sometimes, when it's stormy, you may see a grey cloud hovering around the tower. They say that that is the spirit of Hatto himself. The severity of his guilt means that to this day his soul has been unable to find peace. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.